Ciao, friends. Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by today to see my new wind spinner. I always call them whirly gigs. That's what they're called in my neck of the woods. They're always called whirly gigs. And mine is complete with a beautiful little heart at the bottom. This one is really simple. You make it almost any size you want. Look at that. He's gorgeous. This one is super huge. He's huge. He's super huge. And there's our dangly part at the end. I'll get a nice picture of that for you in here somewhere. But I'm not going to make this whole thing because it will take a lot longer than just making a little one. So this one is half the number of chains. I love this one personally. I think he's great. I just love it. And this is the one we're going to make today. It's just tiny. Well, I'll give you the idea of exactly what you need to do in order to make your own wind spinner, your own whirly gig, and you can make it any size that you want. And I am going to make it red, white, and blue because I just thought that it looked, it looked fun. And it's one of my favorite yarns right here is Americana by Red Heart. So I'm going to chain 20. So we'll do a slip knot. Boom, boom. Chain 20. I'm using a five millimeter hook. That's what I used on this one. So we're going to end up looking just exactly the same. This one is half the size of the original one and this one is just an example piece. So we're going to chain 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Now the trick with these whirly gigs is you don't work back and forth and back and forth. You don't turn your work. That's what makes them do exactly what you want it to do. If you work back and forth, it's not going to look nice at all. So we're going to finish off. Bam, we're already done with row one. Finish off and pull it through. Now we have this little piece. We are going to start where we just finished off. This will always be the right side and the other side will always be the wrong side. The second row is extremely simple. We are going to go into our first stitch, our first chain, chain one, and then a single crochet. And you do that all the way across. Single crochets all the way across to the end and I'll meet you at the other side. There's how we finish. That's our last single crochet and then just pull this through. That's all you need to do. So that was row two already. So first we chained 20 and then we did a single crochet on each one which is 20. So you can change colors anytime you want to but I'm going to continue on with the red. And we're going to for row three stitch marker. For row three, start in on the other side again. Remember everything's right side up. That is the key to making these spin and look the way it looks so pretty. They look so pretty that way. So we're going to go into this first stitch, pull through and chain three. One, two, three. That counts as a double crochet. Go back into that same stitch and add two more more double crochets into that same beginning stitch. Work over your loose tail if you can. Saves a little bit on weaving them in later. Right here, this little guy. So that's the sequence again all the way across. We're going to do three double crochets in every stitch from the previous row. working over my previous tail, or working off of this tail, I guess. One, two, three, and you do that for as many stitches as you have. And I'll meet you down at this end. Here's my last stitch, right here, three double crochet, one, two, and three. 
with my last stitch, three double crochets, pull this through. Now we have ourselves a nice little curly cue going on. So we did our chain and then a single crochet in everything and now we did three double crochets. We're going to go back to our beginning so everything is right side up. This is the wrong side, this is the right side. And I'm going to change to white now so it's similar to what this one is. So in this next round, see I marked it, mark that first, get that very first stitch which is your third chain, your third chain of your chain three is the top of that double crochet. We're just going to bring our white through, chain three which counts as a double crochet in that same stitch. We are going to go ahead and do another double crochet. We are going to do that all the way across. Again, that's our sequence. Try to go over your little tail right here. Just saves a little bit of weaving in ends later. So two double crochet in every stitch all the way down. See? Two double crochets in every stitch all the way back down to this end and I'll meet you down here with our next round of white. All right, and here is my last stitch. Gets two double crochet in my white. One, two, cut your yarn and just pull it through. So we've got a very nice little curly cue going on here. And you see these are all the right side, this is all the wrong side. So we're working in our little tails, we've got all kinds of things going on here at once, it's great. So now we are on to, it would be row five. So we're going to start in our first, in our first stitch here again at the very beginning, right side up in our third chain. That's where you want to get started in that third chain because remember our chain three is counting as a stitch. And now I'm going to change off to blue. Now this one is an increase as well, but it is a different increase. So we're going into our chain three. We're going to pull through and chain three, that counts as a double crochet. Now we move over to our next stitch and put in two. And the next stitch is one double crochet. And our next stitch is two double crochet. And that's our sequence all the way down, just like if you were increasing a circle. We need one double crochet. And I'll show you again here. I'm going over the little tail. And two in that stitch. And that's our sequence. We're increasing again. So there's one double crochet, two double crochet. One, two, one, two. That's our sequence all the way down to the other end. And I'll meet you down there when we're done with our blue round. So this, our, my last stitch here, gets two double crochet. And then I am done. Pull through. So now we have a really nice curly cue going on here. He's so cute. I just love it. Did one more round and this one is really easy, really easy. Go back to our beginning, right side up. And now I'm going to use one of my favorite yarns. This is Americana Red Heart Super Saver. I love this one. It's just fun and happy, very patriotic. So we're going to go back down to our beginning, into our chain three. And this one is so amazingly easy peasy that you probably can guess what I'm going to do. It's a single crochet all the way down. That is our last round. It's just a single crochet all the way down. And we're going to move on to this one that I have all of my ends weaved in. Because look, there are ends everywhere right now from the other side. The beginning part is pretty good because we're working over them, but I wasn't doing that at the other end. So I worked these in already of this guy, like an accordion, and just pile him very nicely. And this 
I just did a nice long chain, however long you want it to be, and put it in the very first stitch so it will hang nicely. You can see that in the front. It'll hang from whatever you want it to. You can make this really long, you can make it much shorter, it does not matter. For a bonus, we are going to make a big red heart that will hang from the bottom of this in my next video. Because remember, this is my first guy. This one was a hundred. And he just keeps going and going and going. That was a chain of a hundred. Just follow the same pattern for any chain that you want. He still needs a top. So this one has a hanger. This one doesn't have a hanger, but it has the bottom part. Which I just love this heart. It is a 3D heart. You're going to love it too. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks. Thanks. Bye.